Hey everyone, Ted here from Mango Dogs and I'm really excited to present this video to you. We've got a dog named Walnut here and he's never been on a treadmill. This is his absolute first time on a treadmill. As you can see, I am putting three different collars on him. I've got a blue one, a red one, and a darker blue one that's just a little bit lower down on him and these are Martingale collars. Now the reason I like to use Martingales when I'm conditioning a dog to the treadmill is very simply because they will become a little bit more snug if the dog puts a pressure on that collar. That way they won't be able to pop out of these collars like a regular buckle collar or something like that. So basically you want to get yourself three martingale collars and you're going to need a couple of leashes and I'll show you what to be doing with that in just a second. So what we're going to do is just start by feeding him for going on, feeding him for coming off. And once he's starting to get a little bit uh, more comfortable doing that, what we'll do is we'll make our first transition actually starting to clip him on. Now as you can see on my treadmill here, I've got two leashes, one to the left side, one to the right side. They're, they are positioned at about head height. Uh, we want these not to be down too low or too high. We want them just to be about, just to be maybe, maybe about two feet, depending on the size of your dog. Of course, if you have a large dog, they'd be a little bit higher, and a small dog, they'd be a little bit lower. So what I'm doing right now is I'm hooking up my leads here. One's gonna be uh, pointed towards the left, one's gonna be pointed towards the right. We'll go back to some feeding. And then that bottom, Martingale, I'm gonna click a leash onto that one, and that's gonna give me the ability, in case he tries to jump through, once I start it up, I don't obviously want him to do that. So I'm gonna be able to kind of hold him back a little bit with that. So that's why we have that extra third one on there. You can do it without the third one, just the one clip to the left and one clip to the right, but I find it's helpful if you have the third. So we've now started it up and we're doing about one mile per hour, I believe. Now this is the first time he's ever done this. So this is typically where dogs are gonna have most of the issue, as you can see. He's quite concerned about it. He doesn't know what to expect. Essentially the floor is moving around him, so obviously that will be a bit of an issue for him. But you can see he's trying, I'm trying to figure it out and he's doing pretty well with it. I'm not really giving him much guidance. I'm not really telling him he's a good boy or anything. I'm just kind of letting him figure it out. He doesn't really have any choice at this point. He has to deal with it because he's essentially strapped in on the left and on the right. And he's picking it up. So in the beginning, I like to have it nice and slow. I'm not gonna bother doing it too fast or anything. At this point, I just wanna just just wanna get him to understand it, and then I'm gonna start to add a little bit of speed to it as we start to progress as he's coming along with it. So he's actually doing quite well right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change to kind of another another little spot. Now that he's kind of coming around to it, as you can see. Heads up a little bit more, tails up, he's having a little bit more fun. So this is still the first time we've not stopped him or taken him off of it. This is the first time he's ever been on a treadmill. You guys saw the initial conditioning. Some dogs where he was a little bit cautious about it, uh, they, will be, they will be a little bit stressed out about it and you just gotta work them through it. If you don't hook them on with two leashes, they're gonna get even more stressed out about it because if they can get off or their back end goes off the side or something, it's gonna be that much more stressful. But every dog will get a little bit stressed out about it, but you just wanna work them through it. You wanna do it this way uh, because it's the least amount of stress that you can you can treadmill train a dog. Uh, he was out of a zero to 10 level, uh, he was about, a, I don't know, maybe a, a 5 out of 10. He didn't do too bad with it. As you can see here, I screwed up a little bit by giving him some food and he dropped it. He corrected himself pretty quick there, so if you're going to give him food, make sure that you don't drop it and just be a little bit more diligent about that. And this is about the point where I start to kind of walk away and I go through the front. I just kind of feel him out, see where they're at with that. If he started to come through the front of it, what I might do is just block him a little bit with my leg. So we'll make another transition right now into another clip. 
and basically just through the front here so you can just get a little bit of a different angle. He's definitely getting into it. Usually they put their head down a little bit and they go into a bit of a working mode. He's still going relatively slow. He's still at a bit of a walk. I've not really put him into a uh, any kind of a, a, you know, any type of real speed at this point. It's his first time. I don't want to go too far too fast, obviously. I think this is the kind of dog who he's, you know, he's a pretty high drive working dog. He's a border collie. I think he could definitely deal with some more speed, but in the beginning, you know, take it nice and slow. Don't rush it too much and then work your way up. So. Okay, so Walnut's into a nice little trot now, and we're gonna call it a day. So we're gonna just hit the stop button there and slow him down nice and slow. We're gonna start unclipping leashes here, and we'll still keep making it fun with the food there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him food for coming off, and then we're gonna put him right back on there for some more food. So we always wanna end them by going back and forth a couple of times, and again, make it really fun. Hope you found this video to be something of value hope it helps you treadmill training your dogs and thank you again so much for watching and check out our website mangodogs.com take care guys